situation I'm frequently asked about by employees is the probation dismissal. So employee has been dismissed on probation and generally the common law position is that an employee can be dismissed whilst on probation for good reason, bad reason or no reason. In other words, the employer can get rid of the employee during probation and that's the whole purpose of the probation. However, there was a decision there in uh, last year, in July 19 or July 2020, where a Mr. O'Donovan, a Chief Financial Officer, was dismissed in January 2020 by Oversea Technology, his employer, and the decision was confirmed 10 days later. Mr. O'Donovan went to the High Court and he actually won his case for an injunction uh, to prevent his dismissal and he won an order then that his salary be paid for six months pending the action, pending the hearing of the action. So this seemed to be a fairly significant decision because this would have been a sort of an eye-opener for many employers and indeed solicitors. Uh, and we were getting worried then obviously that the advice to date was out the window insofar as it appeared that this man had a constitutional right to fair procedures and natural justice and so on. Now it's important to understand that the reason he was dismissed during probation was basically on performance grounds. The employer then appealed the case to the High Court or to the Court of Appeal and the Court of Appeal basically held that the company was entitled to get rid of him if the dismissal was based on performance grounds because uh, the employee can be terminated on probation on performance grounds without the need to afford fair procedures and natural justice. Whereas the employee is entitled to fair procedures and natural justice if he or she is terminated for misconduct even if the employee is still on probation. So if the employee is on probation, the reason as to why he was dismissed is very, very important because he or she is entitled to fair procedures and natural justice, a constitutional right to their good name, entitled to those things if the dismissal was for misconduct or on the grounds of conduct. Whereas if it's on the grounds of performance, then the question of the uh, right to good name and so on natural justice fair procedures doesn't arise and therefore the employee can be uh, dismissed. The Court of Appeal held that if an employer has a contractual right, in this case a clear express right to dismiss an employee on notice without giving any reason, the court cannot imply a term that the dismissal may only take place if fair procedures have been afforded to the employee save for where the employee is dismissed for misconduct. If the stated reason for seeking to dismiss an employee is an allegation of misconduct, then the courts have consistently held that there is an obligation to afford that employee fair procedures in respect of any determination leading to such a dismissal. That does not alter the fact, however, that an employer may still, if he's contractually free so to do, dismiss an employee for no reason. It simply means that where an employer is obliged to rely upon stated misconduct for a dismissal or where not so obliged chooses to rely upon stated misconduct, the employer concerned is obliged to conduct a process leading to a determination as to whether there was such misconduct in accordance with many of the principles of natural justice. The key thing is the misconduct aspect of it. If there's misconduct, if the allegation, uh, if the termination is brought about as a consequence of alleged misconduct, then the employee is entitled to fair procedures and natural justice. The Court of Appeal said there's no suggestion that the principles of natural justice must be applied where an employer terminates the employment contract of an employee on the grounds of poor performance. I do not accept, the Court said, that a court can imply a right to fair procedures in relation to the assessment of employees' performance by an employer during the probationary period, as this would negate the whole purpose of a probationary period. So the whole purpose of a probationary period is to see if the employee can perform, if the employee is the right person for the job, and clearly if 
the um, employer had to go through natural uh, justice and fair procedures and a uh, fairly involved procedure to terminate them. There's no point having a probationary period. That's essentially what the Court of Appeal seems to be saying there. So the critical factor is the termination. Is it on account of poor performance or is it misconduct? If it's misconduct, the right to fair procedures and natural justice is there. If it's poor performance, then the contract probably makes provision for the right to terminate on those grounds during the probation period without fair procedures and natural justice. So the Court of Appeal overturned the High Court decision. The case is O'Donovan versus Oversea Technology. Mr O'Donovan was the Chief Financial Officer and um, a lot of employers and indeed a lot of solicitors may have breathed a sigh of relief when the Court of Appeal overturned that High Court decision. You can read about both of those decisions on my website, employmentrightsireland.com. I deal with both the High Court decision and the Court of Appeal decision, and there's links to the actual cases themselves. If you find this video useful, I'd appreciate if you gave it the thumbs up down below. Thanks a lot.